hello everyone uh, in this video I will show you how you can add images into the cell uh, when you just put your cursor over that particular cell it will show you the images of the person right uh, it could be your employee it could be your national ID or you, whatever images you would like you can just do it on a single click of buttons right I will show you how to automate the whole process I will show you the manual approach as well I will show you the automated approach as well so please watch this video till the end to understand uh, how we can do that and of course you can then use in your reports and make it outstanding so if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe now and hit the bell icon and the like to this video so let's start learning first of all I will show you the manual method how you can add a picture so you just put your mouse on the name and the pictures will appear on the sidebar right so in order to add a picture what you need to do uh, maybe you can have a long list and if you will go through one by one it definitely gonna take some time so let's understand the methodology first you will right click uh, on the name of the person uh, if you are using Microsoft 365 you will be having an option new note but if you are using uh, Microsoft Excel 2016 or 2019 then you will be seeing an option like new commit so if you are using Microsoft 365 like me so you have to click this one new note when you click on the new note uh, whatever text inside you must delete them right then you should click on this border and right click and then you will click on format comments when you click on format comments this window will pop up you should go on color and lines right uh, on the color and lines in a fill section you will see an option called color you will click on this drop down and you will choose the last one which says fill effects when you click on the fill effects you will see another pop-up uh, which has a several tabs so on the last tab you will see it called picture when you click on the picture here it will allow you to select the picture you select the picture uh, from the file right I've created uh, a folder which called images in images I have given uh, all the people pictures with their serial numbers so right now I'm doing the first one which is uh, American President Joe Biden so I have to click his picture right and click on insert when I click on insert it will give us a picture on the box we'll press ok and then we will press ok as well so you can see now the Joe Biden picture is coming right next to the box uh, in the comment section which you can adjust uh, how much size that you need so when you click when you just you don't even need to click when you bring the mouse or cursor on the particular name you will see the image right so right now I have eight names but let's assume let's assume uh, I can have 800 names or 1000 names so it is not an straightforward job that you just go and right click and then go on create new node and then go on the properties and add the pictures one by one it gonna takes you a whole day so in order to automate this process we will take the support of the macro so now I'm going to show you how I can add the picture of all these eight peoples it could be 800 people it could be 8000 people doesn't matter but if you are using the automation approach you will be able to add the picture of all the people at the same time so what you need to do let me clear out this picture first right and I'm gonna add the picture of all these people in a fixed size format um, through the automation by using a macro so what you need to do uh, you uh, should click on the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab you can enable this by going on file then going on option right in option you can go on the customize ribbon and here you, this would be unchecked you have to check that developer and press ok you will you will go on developer tab you will click on visual basic right here on the excel object you will right click insert and press module 
so in a module it will give you a blank page so what you need to do you need to input a code that I'm gonna deliver to you if you request me on the email right so this is the code that you have to copy uh, and after doing that what you need to do you will go on developer click on macro and here it says process picture so you have to just select this one and click the run so then it will give then it will give you this pop-up and allow you to select the folder where is your file so in my case uh, I have kept all my images uh, into the desktop right I can show you that folder okay this is the folder which I am basically selecting I have to just select the folder here so in the folder you must have all the pictures with the serial number so this is the thing you have to just take care so it could be an employee number or it can be your uh, CNIC national ID number or it could be any number that represents you or your data right so you can just give an input numbers right and then just select this folder right now it is asking you okay where I should give the images so your code range is this select code range so you have to select all the code range the system will do what system will match this number with the picture and put the image command right next column right it will do it automatically it will offset your one column right system will assume that okay if this is the code the name would be in the next column so when you press ok so you can see the yellow line is coming in also you just press keep your cursor here Joy Biden second Nawaz Sharif Imran Khan Narendra Modi Sheikh Rashid Al Maktoum Tamim bin Hamid Al Thani Justin Trudeau and the Cyril Hamposa right so all the images are now there uh, all the president peoples right so that's how you can automate it so if you could have 800 people or 8,000 people it doesn't matter just if you will follow this process you will be able uh, to automate this so if you like this uh, video uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more meaningful videos ahead uh, and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much